Hey and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the family. We are a small channel that discuss the safety and science behind skincare. As a pharmacist, toxicologist and safety assessor, I try my best to provide you with the information that you need to have peace of mind when you are using your personal care product. If that sound interesting to you, please don't forget to subscribe and join this community. So it has been a month and I have been using this bad boy, the Ordinary Vitamin C Suspension 30% in silicone and it was a journey. Stay tuned for the progress picture. So let's talk about it. Starting with the scientific ingredient analysis, I think this will be the shortest ingredient analysis because this product right here the ingredient list has literally four ingredients for the whole formula, including vitamin C, it has dimethicone as ascorbic acid, polysilicon 11, pig 10 dimethicone. It has this ingredient, the polysilicon 11, which is a trademark silicon according to the company. And I quote, this unique chemistry of P silicon, polysilicon 11, deliver a superior performance properties compared to other materials in the market. The benefits include one, excellent non-tacky, non-oil, smooth characterization, two, stable delivery of active material, three, sebum absorption control and control, four, we also have transformation into a matte appearance with a powdery afterfeel, end of quote. And it actually deliver what it says. Now, vitamin C in this form, ascorbic acid, which is the most studied form uh, of the vitamin to give collagen boost, antioxidant and brightening effect. It, it's in a very high concentration here, which is 30%. So this product is not for all, even on the website of the company, uh, it says that to expect some tingling when used. Uh, I don't know why the company went with the 30% because there is some data from a 2001 study suggesting 20% is going to saturate the skin level of vitamin C after three days of use. From the ingredient list wise, I didn't know what to give it uh, as a whole product, but I would give it four out of five beakers because vitamin C as an ascorbic acid is well backed by data for its benefit. And the company, in my opinion, could make the product a bit more appealing by adding some soothing ingredient to the formula. When it comes to real life performance, I already reviewed the Ordinary Vitamin C Suspension 23% with HA Spheres 2%, the product right here, and it was not my favorite for the real life performance. It was greasy and grainy, but this one uh, is actually the opposite. I will show you in a video right now here the difference between the two. The 30% one is super mattifying that it feels like a powder on the skin and kind of hard to spread. The company suggests mis mixing it with oil the 23% one is super runny, greasy, grainy uh, and I did not even notice a huge difference to be honest. You can be the judge by looking at those three photos 10 days apart for 30 days and I used the manual setting of the camera for exposure ISO and zooming. Try to apply some editing for the picture because I shoot in RAW format and here are the results so you can be the judge. Taking all this into account, I would give this product 3 out of 5 happy mo faces because I noticed some kind of fuller skin but not that drastic and the application wasn't so pleasing to be honest. So this is my video guys and I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. For this video secret emoji, it will be the sun emoji because vitamin C is the brightening ingredient uh, of, the, of the all ingredients to be honest. So comment it down below and I will answer your question super fast. Stay safe guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.